Who Breathes Fire has a spike tail, a Koopa shell, and has a double D. Obviously, it's Bowsette. And suddenly, Mr. Stark, my pee-pee doesn't feel too good. Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have the freshest of the Weeb Spank Bank material and the lewdest of waifus in the dank meme market. Of course, we're talking about the one and the only Bowsette. Sure, the naming scheme may not be correct or 100% exact, but your best friend Neriku is here to drop some knowledge on you and to help you understand what the fuck is going on here and why Bowsette has captured the hearts and the peepees of us all. Way back in September 13th of 2018, the guys, just like yesterday, the guys over at Nintendo decided that they were going to be cheap little bastards and re-release the same Super Mario game. Much like how uh, Bethesda has released Skyrim every year or two since 2011. Nintendo found it justified to re-release this game because not only did it release on the Nintendo Wii U, which obviously we all know to be a failed console, but because they added in a few extra quirks and features and updated the title and case cover. Good thing no one else in gaming is doing that, right? One of the new elements and quirks that Nintendo decided to feature in this new game was an added power-up, aptly named the Super Crown. This Super Crown gave Toadette the ability to transform into a version of Princess Peach while retaining some of her abilities and attributes. Nintendo named this DBZ style fusion Peachette. See where I'm going here? Basically, Nintendo just confirmed that this Super Crown is canon. It's it's a canon item, and Toadette using it to become Peachette is something that exists inside the Mario universe. Many adult childs everywhere studied this a little bit too closely, if you ask me, and began to dive a little bit too deep in the line of their questioning and their logic. Now, I'm not saying that their logic and questioning is flawed. However, I am saying that this much studying over a fucking fictional character was probably unnecessary. It's honestly why I typically don't play Nintendo S games and much less Mario games. Although you might end up catching me playing the latest Super Smash Bros or maybe even playing a little bit of Metroid from time to time. It just really depends on if I'm in the mood to be patronized in a similar manner to how Disney has the latest cringe fest that they like to call musicals. Anyways, a Sherlock among casuals sniped out this opportunity to express what he would consider the next logical step in evolution. Twitter user A Ake Ake Aek Twitter user Aek92 or Ake92 drew a simple comic which he detailed the absolute following masterpiece. Once this was released, the internet praised and rejoiced. Bowsette was now born. What followed shortly after was truly a wave of confusion. Half chubs and a slight curiosity as to what we were seeing. Cosplayers included the basic thick thought queen, Jessica Negri, moved quickly. She couldn't be beaten. She had to be the first to the party at all costs. Other great examples of thoughtery followed in cosplay. And I'm sure we are all very appreciative of these photos and of these videos and this material. This content is honestly unrivaled. But in similar internet fashion, there were those with less innocent and noble intentions. Attention seekers known as fat bitches decided that the health and beauty at every size approach was appropriate and wanted here for some strange reason. Much like all things in their sad, pathetic, overweight lives, they were gravely mistaken. Bowser had been unleashed onto the world and nothing was putting this genie back into the bottle. Now, 
let's not delay for the real reason that you guys are here. Why you pervs watch my channel to begin with. No offense, I am too. But let's take a closer look at Bowsette. Honestly, first things first. The name is definitely all wrong. Peachette was the name that came from a combination and fusion of Toadette and Peach, aka Peachette. Obviously, makes sense. So, wouldn't the combination of Bowser and Peach become Beach or Bowser? Obviously, those don't sound as good, and it's not really a, a, a big deal. I guess Bows, Bowsette sounds much better, but it begins to make you wonder, why the fuck is Bowser so thick? Who, who came up with this? Like, obviously, I know that A92 or A92 did this, but think about it. Who came up with those titties? Who really drew those anime titties? Really? Oh wait, I just honestly just made a discovery. Really, Bowsette is the manifestation of the big titty goth girlfriend meme reincarnate. The curves of Bowsette's body make any man cry out in agony as his pee pee begins to wonder just what he's seeing here. Bowsette has been depicted with either red hair or with blonde hair. The red stemming from Bowser and the blonde stemming from Peach, obviously. The haircut is a clear rebadge of Peach's hairstyle, but when you put the two side by side, you can clearly see that Bowsette is unnatural, while Peach is rocking that 50 cent ghetto backyard hair extension special. Let's be real here, we all know that Princess Peach is nothing more than a stuck up hoe that never let Mario or Luigi or anyone hit because she's too busy letting Bowser are bust nuts and because you know he's known as a king aka king koopa she's nothing but a gold digging bitch hear me out here really have you ever wondered where baby bowser came from like let's be real do you think that nigga just appeared one day honestly how many times does peach need to be captured before mario understands that he's being played and being 100 percent cooked it's sad really this chubby plumber actually thinks that this bitch wants him I mean, obviously, she uses him for his ability to rescue her and uh, rescue. I use that very loosely, but it's really funny cons considering that he's only like four foot three. And we all know that women won't answer DMs unless you're at least a six foot tall beast with money, looks, sensitivity and a sense of humor. Let's be real here. OK, either way it goes, we all know that Bowsette is the woman that Peach wishes she could be. Honestly look at those thighs and Bowsette is known for being thick too i mean Bowsette got more booty than rosaline and we all know that rosaline or rosaline 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 i don't even know how to pronounce it because i don't play mario god damn it you don't play mario god damn it but we all know that rosaline as far as animated mario bitches go is the best in the mario universe and yet Bowsette just exceeded that level this, this whole process had me move into a line of questioning of my own. If Toadette is a girl and she transforms into Peachette, when Bowser puts on a super crown, does she still have a dick? Does she still have a dick? Like one of those lady boys of old, or perhaps modernly called a trap? Say it isn't gay. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's FUCKING GAY! Fucking traps! Just cause they dress like a chick don't mean they are a chick, they got a dick, and it's gay! And don't say the dick makes it cuter! Cause that doesn't make it cuter! That makes it even gayer! That makes you gay, bitch! Does this mean that if you like Bowsette, or are attracted to Bowsette, that you're gay? Speaking hypothetically for a moment, if you accidentally beat it to a few of Bowsette's pictures or maybe some of her material, do you then have the big gay? Do you have ligma? Will you now die a slow and painful gay death? Are traps really gay? Are chicks with dicks gay? Are chicks with dicks even chicks at all? Or perhaps maybe they're just dudes with boobs? Are traps gay? Are traps gay? Yes. Hey baby girl. Hey babe, um, are traps gay? I mean, not if they look like you. Aw, thanks fag. Wait, what the fuck? Now that I heard that, I feel relieved. Wait a minute. me traps oh my god 
Honestly, guys, I really think that I've said all that I have to say about this for now. Maybe Bowsette will be confirmed in the future for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Or maybe... Never mind. What do you guys think? Would you Super Smash or pass on Bowsette? I think that I have my answer based on the cosplay examples I showed you earlier. Not to mention that traps are definitely not gay. I mean, do you guys really think traps are gay? Traps are definitely not gay because if you are trapped, th that's the whole purpose. You're trapped, so it's not your fault that you did something gay. You, 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 come on, guys. Be with me on this one. Let me know down in the comment section below. And a special shout out to the artists that made this video absolutely possible. Honestly, without them, Bowsette wouldn't really exist at all. And we wouldn't have this material to, um, um, yeah, you know. If you like this video or like others like it, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button. Also, this pervy raccoon wants to keep making videos that make you continue to question life itself. So if you want to see more Neraku, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you know when I upload, and share this video with all your friends. I know I said Discord is gone, but for the time being, there is some unique research material on the Discord for all those who want to... Um, clarify their position on Bowsette who want to uh, see um, a little bit more uh, be sure to go ahead and check that out guys uh, once again my name is Neraku and I will see each and every one of you weird AF mofos in the next video peach yeah bitch I'm a cow bitch I'm a cow I'm not a cat I don't say now bitch I'm a cow Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I go move.